Hello YouTube. <laughs> Welcome to NASA. Here I am on my first day out at Kennedy Space Center. Yeah, I'm over in the employee parking lot getting ready to check in for the first time. Parked over here by John Glenn. Uh, focus issues here, but um, yeah, we're going to be uh, working here today. Probably food service, although they could stick me anywhere. I'm basically an available body. So it is kind of a cold day. I think maybe I'll bring my jacket just in case and see what they say over here. So I've got to head on in and check in, and uh, I'll try to film if I can. I don't know if they're going to let me or not. I thought I would go ahead and show you where we're actually at. We're currently at the Kennedy uh, Space Center Visitors Complex, which is this area here. That is the Atlantis building, which you've seen me walking around. And these are the various attractions and whatnot that I've worked at. Uh, you have seen a little bit of the uh, vehicle assembly building and some of these launch things when I was on the boat. Because out over this way down here, off in the sidewalk area, is the port, Port Canaveral, where we took the, uh, the boat out, the Sun Cruise boat. And sometimes you saw me show the shoreline and you saw buildings and stuff. That's what these were, the rocket launch areas. So when you see like uh, Air Force or SpaceX launches, like here is a SpaceX landing zone. Uh, this is where they launched the SpaceX Heavy. The SpaceX Falcon launches from here. So you can see we're not actually on the actual launch area because that area is closed off. Um, but this is where they have the visitors come in and, and do the tours and whatnot. As you can see, I am not officially a space cadet. Yeah, I'm actually out here at NASA working <laughs> with the temp agency and I can't film too much here because there's like a lot of people walking around including little kids and stuff but just wanted to let you know that I am working right now um, through Ferian, uh, working in the Milky Way which is like an ice cream shop. <laughs> But uh, I'm on lunch break and they said we're allowed to film and walk around and just hang out and look at the exhibits and stuff on our lunch break. So I've got a few minutes left. I am going to go ahead and get ready to get back to work. But just wanted to let you guys know this is what it's like being here. I can't really show the, the, the tourists and stuff, sadly. But maybe if I can um, get some of the uh, displays and stuff without too many people there, I can do that and show you what it's like working here at NASA or rather at the Kennedy Space Center. All right. <laughs> Talk about a van. How would you like to live in this thing? This is the, um, if I can get the camera to focus here, this is the Martian Rover. Yeah. Now that is my dream van. This is the Mars Rover Vehicle Navigator. It's a prototype electric vehicle designed for traveling the demanding landscapes of Mars. Designed under the construction of NASA astronauts and Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex to inspire the next generation of space explorers. Future Mars astronauts might travel and work in a high-tech mobile laboratory similar to this concept vehicle. Look at the tires. I guess those tires don't pop. They should design regular car tires like that. You see how they just have strips on there and then metal reinforced designed to climb over any terrain, lots of clearance, and I'm sure you could live inside that thing. This is just an amazing vehicle. Wow. Just wanted to show you what it looks like from the front, from the side. This is an amazing vehicle. Look at that. Talk about a van. This van is out of the out of this world. The tires are designed so they don't they don't pop. Look at that. It's got rubber and metal reinforcement um, ribbing. Super good shock absorbers. So these are tires that would not pop. They should put these on regular cars. And the vehicle looks really wide. I'm sure wide enough to actually live inside. Evidently, the, the Mars Rover can separate into two sections. The Mars Rover vehicle has the capability of separating the two sections, a stationary lab 
and an exploratory vehicle. All the rovers that have been to Mars so far have been automated and given instructions from operators on Earth. The Mars rover vehicle navigator would be operated by humans as part of a long-term Martian settlement, supplementing a human-friendly artificial habitat. It is not funded by taxpayer dollars. Look at this vehicle here. The prototype. It is very large. Just so you know, reference-wise, how tall everything is. My height, I don't know if you can see the, sh the, the reflection of my head. That's the top of my head. So you can see that's about 5'10", five, 5' five foot tall right there. No, 5'10". Five, yeah, five, so the thing's probably about um, I'd say 12 or 14 feet tall maybe. 14 feet, maybe 15. And it actually separates. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna take it that those must be solar panels on top there. I wonder if this could be adapted for use on Earth. Seems like a good idea. The Mars Rover Vehicle Navigator is a prototype electric vehicle designed for traversing the demanding landscape of Mars. It's designed under the consultation of NASA astronauts and Kennedy Space Center. Visitor complex to inspire the next generation of space travel explorers. Future Mars astronauts might travel and work in a high tech mobile laboratory similar to this concept vehicle. This is an amazing vehicle. Wow. Who would not want to live in this van? <laughs> this looks like a mock up, looks like a Lego. This is a Mars exploration rover. Built completely out of Lego. The Lego company built this full-scale model in 2002 based on images provided by NASA. Overall, the model is the proper size and shape with all instruments, components, and structures represented fully and to scale. A few small details are not perfectly accurate as the rover designs change slightly during development. The model weighs 290 pounds. That's 290 pounds of Lego. One of the cool things about being here, uh, working here, at the Cape Kennedy Space Center here is that not only do I get to experience this place as a tourist would during my breaks, but I get to see behind the scenes to see how the magic happens and actually be part of that magic. Currently I'm working at the IMAX, yeah. So that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm the guy that hands out the glasses and cleans them and gets everything all prepped up and uh, helps to make sure that the show runs smoothly. Alright, I'm currently on lunch and this is actually the lunch that I packed. It is soda with a nice big huge sandwich, orange juice and some water, and there are like two bags of chips in here. I thought you guys might like to see a map of the facility. If you want to see where everything is, you can freeze it right here. But we are actually at the Atlantis um, display right here. This is the actual spaceship Atlantis. This is the booster rockets. I don't think this is a real booster rocket. I don't know, it might be though. <laughs> I don't think so though. No, nah, this is just a mock-up of the, the statue, but they do, I think it's a full-size mock-up. They do have um, the Atlantis on display inside that you can walk through the real space shuttle. And there is also a simulator. Let's see if I can't get in there real quick. I am on break. Taking a quick look around. All right, it turns out that the Atlantis display inside is actually a theater. <clears throat> I think they have a movie about the Atlantis. And I think, from what I understand, there is the Atlantis that you can actually walk through, the spaceship. So, I didn't go in there because I'm on limited time. Hope this wind's not making a lot of noise here but decided to come outside just to walk around a little bit. For those of you who've never been to the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Center, it is basically almost like a theme park, a small theme park. Think of it as um, one of the little parks inside Disney. Disney World or Disneyland actually has their parks separated into like different um, parks that are all interconnected. 
Well, this particular place here, Kennedy Space Center, is like the size of one of those parks, possibly. Maybe a little bit larger, maybe a little bit smaller than some of the parks. Most of the attractions here tend to be um, theaters of various types, and some are lectures. One of the uh, coolest part of uh, being here working at the Kennedy Space Center as a temp is that they've been rotating me around, so I've had the opportunity to actually check out a lot of the jobs behind the scene. I've done everything from uh, serving ice cream at the, I think it's the Milky Way, <laughs> working the IMAX theater, and today I'm actually at the, um, what is it, I think it's called the Universe Theater, and uh, doing all the shows over there. So, I'm looking forward to where they put me tomorrow. <laughs>